How to fix server watchdog fatal crashing your Minecraft server or how to disable server watchdog in your Minecraft server. As you can see, I have a screenshot open taken when my Minecraft server was shut down by the server watchdog. In the screenshot, you can see what was going on in my server when the shutdown happened. So as you can see, briefly after starting my server, we received a line at the following time saying server watchdog slash fatal, a single server tick took 64.63 seconds, should be max 0.05. And on the line below that it says server watchdog slash fatal considering it to be crashed server will forcibly shut down and then you get the crash report which extends all the way down so basically because the server tick took 64.63 seconds above the threshold set at 0.05 it triggers your server watchdog to crash your server. If your server was also crashed by the server watchdog, then this is the video for you, and I'm going to show you how to fix this issue so your server doesn't get shut down by the server watchdog. So I'm just going to close out of this screenshot now real quickly to end up back on my desktop here. The next thing you need to do is locate your Minecraft server files. As you can see on my desktop here, I have a folder called letsplayvanilla.com, which is my Minecraft server folder containing all my Minecraft server files. I'm just going to double click on this to open it. Once you have found and also opened up your Minecraft server folder, locate your server.properties file. As you can see, it's right here for me. Double click on it. Once done, if you're on Windows, Windows will ask you, how do you want to open this file? At the very top, you should see Notepad. If you're on another operating system, select the appropriate text editor for that operating system. If you're on Windows, Notepad is the text editor that we're going to be opening up our server.properties file. Before you select the Notepad application to open up the server.properties file, navigate to the bottom here of this window and make sure always use this app to open server.properties is uncheckmarked. Once done, left click on the Notepad app to select it and then left click on OK. Once done, your server.properties file will open as a text document in the notepad text editor. I'm just going to maximize it here so we can see it a bit better. Once you have your server.properties file open in a text editor, locate the line which says max-tick-time equals 60,000. It should be the fourth line down from the very top. We're going to make a simple change here. Delete the 60,000 value that's entered for the max tick time and delete it by highlighting it and then deleting it. Once done, type the following dash or minus one. Once you have changed max tick time equals minus one or dash one, you're all set. All you need to do now is navigate to the top left hand corner of your text editor to where it says file, left click on file and then left click on save to save the changes to your server.properties file. Once done, you can close out of your server.properties file. With that change that we have just made to the max tick time, changing it from 60,000 to negative one or dash one, we have essentially disabled the server watchdog in our Minecraft server, which will prevent the server watchdog crashing our Minecraft server. All that's left to do now, guys, is to rerun your bat file if you're on Windows or simply rerun the Minecraft start command to start your server once again. So all I'm going to do is double click on Minecraft start command here, which is what my batch file is called. And I'm going to maximize the CMD terminal window here. And I'll be back with you shortly once my Minecraft server is running again. And as you can see guys, our Minecraft server is now running again. All that's left to do now guys is to connect and enjoy your Minecraft server free from the worry of the server watchdog crashing your server. All right guys, I'm just going to quickly open up my Minecraft client here, left click on multiplayer, left click on add server, give my server a name here real quick. So I'm just going to call it Websplaining, the same name as my YouTube channel for the server address. Because I'm hosting my Minecraft server on my local computer, I'm simply going to enter in here the number zero, all the two words together, local host. If you're hosting your Minecraft server on a server host provider, enter that server host provider's IP address. Once done, left click on done here. Your Minecraft client will then ping your server. And as you can see, we got full bars here. Nobody connected to our server. I'm just going to left click on the Websplaining Minecraft server here and then left click on join server. You'll then be taken into your Minecraft server, guys. And on that note, guys, that concludes the video on how to fix server watchdog fatal crashing your Minecraft server. 
or how to disable server watchdog in your Minecraft server. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so